Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I'm going to give it a couple of minutes until all of you all join me and I'm so glad, you know, <laughs> managed to, you know, get back into the routine of doing it on Saturday nights. So I hope to see my usual crowd. So I'll give it a couple of minutes. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're all excited about today's life and today's topic and uh, I'm going to <laughs> get everyone in. Alright, so I good to see you Karen. I'm just going to give it a few minutes until more of you all join me. And I will still do a makeup live for last week. I'll probably go live Tuesday night. So yeah. So after that, we'll go back into routine and we'll do it on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. So again, sorry about the two hour delay. So I hope you guys are all excited about today's topic and uh, looking forward to all the discussions that's going to come from it and especially you know usually it is during this period a lot of timeline jumps timeline shifting quantum leaping all takes place so today we are going to talk about how we can use these new energies to map the life you guys want and how to do it how to jump i'm sure a lot of you will have a lot of use with regards to this i'll also be doing channeling at the end so if you guys want to join the list um, you guys know what to do and i'll add you guys on the list so i also have the timeline jumping reading and healing uh, so you guys can check that out as well i'll highly highly recommend the twin flames quantum timeline forward jumping activator and i have it on promo so i'll highly highly recommend that so the energies are continuing continuously um, the, the energies are still chaotic um, they are settling in, in layers a bit by bit, but still it has been quite volatile. So many of you all may be um, feeling that. Hey Shay, good to see you. I'm well. I hope you're well too. So I'm going to quickly talk about the energies, how everything has been going on and um, how all of you guys have been um, feeling generally guys share your views thoughts um, september is going to be unique and interesting well august was set forth to anchor in new energies but there's still a little bit of stagnancy so it's a different kind of struggle as many of you all have shared with me as well so it is interesting because every month is post posing another challenge or another kind of um, trouble in a way so it has been an intensive year a lot of purging a lot of clearing hi marion good to see you and marion says hi to everyone karen yes been an interesting week yes absolutely it has been an inter interesting week um so, I hope you guys are, hold on, I hope you guys are, you know, looking forward to September, even though we've got still a week ahead. Again, the 20 slash 8 portal, since then, things have been starting to move up in a rhythm, so it's good. And so overall, the energies, even though they have been chaotic, they are hopeful 
energies coming in as well so this whole month has been a month of intense purging reset timeline jumping quantum shifting so a lot has been going on so if you guys have been experiencing intense fatigue or hopelessness or you feel like you have no motivation well it's due to the collective energies and you're not alone uh, that's what i want you guys to remember uh, most importantly, these energies are going to change and you guys don't have to feel like you are going to be in this state for long. Um, you will feel motivated and inspired again. So the reason why the energies are the way they are is because a lot of things are happening and a lot of portal shifts, energies coming in, the entire cosmos going through an entire renewal and reset. So it's just it's just an intense period of change and it is also a period whereby you are feeling um, new energies coming in. So it's just a period where you guys just have to rest, reset, and awaken to the new energies. Hence, that's why I thought today's topic is going to be extremely, extremely wonderful because it is going to totally, totally, totally help you guys see changes, the immense changes that, that are set to take place as well. So if you guys are also feeling like you're emotionally drained out, feeling miserable for no reason or feel like, you know, there's no hope in your life or in the journey, again, guys, it's the collective energy. So think of it as just releasing and purging and, you know, you're just going through a big cleanse. So with that, you will notice that once this period shifts, which is going to, and September is going to be a month that brings in new energies. So it is going to be very interesting. So as we enter the last week of August, it's going to be a time of complete readjustment to the energetic shifts that's taking place and everything of that sort. You will also notice that you are no longer uh, stuck in, in these patterns of in these patterns that is holding you back and not helping you realize your full potential. So that sums up the energies of August. And with that, another big thing that is going to like truly, truly happen is how you are going to also experience a lot of metaphysical, multidimensional perceptions. So in other words, as your body is going through intense activations and release and you're on the verge of discovering a lot of new things that's taking place, you are also going to start to understand that this is a period that is going to help you prepare for the months ahead. So yep, that sums up the energies of August. And with that, I will go on to the topic, the much-awaited topic, um, which is quantum timeline jumping, timeline shifting, and how to do it. Are you already experiencing it? And that's what we're going to discuss. And after that, we are going to have our usual, usual, usual live channeling. So, yes.
with that before i start on the topic guys share with me your views is anything like in particular you guys want to ask about the present energies is there anything you guys want to discuss about this is the time perfect it's 11 11 as well <laughs> All right, so perfect time to quantum jump and timeline shift. So what exactly is timeline jumping and what is everyone talking about? So we live in a world where, where we perceive a 3D reality. But the more we connect to our inner selves, the more we awaken to our true potential, we will discover that this reality is not the only one alone. There are multiverses. There are infinite possibilities. And when you are in the right vibrations, when you are vibrating at a certain vibration, you're able to anchor in the life that you want to live. So that is the beauty of this entire topic is that each and every one of us have the power within us to actually timeline jump. A lot of you all are doing it subconsciously. So when you actually bring in the awareness and do it consciously, you will start to notice that you're much more in control of your life. So before I start with timeline jumping, I want to I wanna discuss this with you. Sometimes when you subconsciously timeline jump, you know things are different, but you can't remember what has changed. So, you know, that's why you've got theories like the uh, Mandela effect, Mandela theory and stuff like that, where, you know, people thought that, you know, Mandela passed away in the 80s, but he actually passed away in uh, early 2000, 2003, I think. So again, with a lot of things, right? So that's called the Mandela effect. So something similar, timeline jumping is similar to that. When you jump into a higher timeline, you will start to notice that you do not recognize certain things in your environment or you'll feel like, hey, this is not how I remember it. You know, this is not how it is supposed to be. You know, something is odd. Something is off. Like I am just completely in, in shock of what's going on. So the thing about timeline jumping is that it can work both ways. It can be positive. It can also be negative. Meaning if you are in a constant state of like hopelessness or you feel like you cannot move forward, sometimes what can happen is that you may subconsciously dive into a timeline where things are just going to get worse and worse and that's why some people are like you know what it's just getting worse and worse and i'm i i don't know how to like get out of this so one of the things to note is that timeline jumping in itself it's a skill that you can develop but awareness is key to it all because eventually you want to be in a place where you want to be more in control of your thoughts, your feelings, etc. But you also want to be in a place where you want to have the ability to go into a timeline that aligns with your desires, wishes, purpose and everything. And timeline jumping can happen all the time. And that too can cause a lot of energetic chaos to your system. So sometimes you may feel like, hey, I feel jet like without even having traveled. You may feel like, hey, I don't know why I feel extremely exhausted, you know, and, and this lag is just not... Um, 
moving and and you may feel like no matter what you do you're still stuck in this loop where you're not able to align into the kind of life you want to so let me go with the technicalities so our realities exist simultaneously so it's like Picking and choosing the reality that you want to go into. But in order to even be able to do that, firstly, you need to be comfortable with the concept that there are infinite realities around us and that we can jump into any of these realities. That's why sometimes when life is going good, you're like, hey, I just feel lucky. I just feel like um, everything is in alignment to my thoughts and wishes and desires. Then you know you are in the timeline that you are most aligned with. And sometimes you may feel like, hey, everything is just falling apart. So that could be an indicator that you have dropped a lower timeline. So irregardless of whether, you know, higher timeline or low, lower timeline, what you need to be aware of, you have, you have it in you to be able to inspire that shift. So let's put it this way. For example, suddenly you awake, you wake up and you realize that things are just completely different, but you're feeling good and you're feeling positive. You may feel a bit tired, but that's due to the timeline jumping that comes with the traveling and all that. But then, you know, if you're feeling better and you're feeling much more at peace, then you know you have jumped to a higher timeline. But to the contrary, if you feel um, suddenly you feel out of whack, you feel miserable, you just feel like, hey, this doesn't feel um, this this doesn't feel like my reality it feels worse. Then you know you have jumped a lower timeline. So let me read some of the comments. Marion says a lot of things changed from people, family, and co-workers. It's like I'm feeling shock and chaos and tiredness. Yes, that is a huge sign that you may have timeline jump. So that's why um, I do have a healing activator that really helps to ensure that you do jump a positive timeline. So you guys can check that out. It's the Twin Flames Quantum Timeline Forward Jumping Preparation Activator and Healing. And I also have a reading to know where you are at. So number one is recognition of where you are in terms of timeline. In which timeline you are and are you happy with the timeline you are? Oh, Marion is another comment, but mostly I have deja vus and things when I'm, when I just think of it, then suddenly they all come out right away. Yes, they do. So you're constantly being guided and supported and protected by the universe as well, which is a good thing. Um, just, so just think about an a person who is not awakened, who is timeline jumping versus someone who is semi-awake and someone who is fully aware. And when you're in the category where you're fully aware, you have much control over the timeline that it's meant to be. And for Twin Flame Union to occur, you got to be at the highest timeline, the highest vibration. you know. And often it's not... It's about jumping to that timeline where union is even possible. So that's what makes this entire topic very, very interesting because it helps you to realize your ultimate potential in many ways possible. Another big thing about timeline jumping is that it requires a certain amount of energy and it's all in the vibrations. Ultimately, it goes down to your vibration. So, for example, you are in 
this timeline of your choice but somehow you are jumping into a lower timeline it's because you're not able to maintain the vibrations and frequency of that timeline so you got to really anchor and root yourself if you are in the timeline that you that you enjoy being on as well so in a way, it's like your life can slip away in a moment if you are not paying attention to it. So awareness is always, always key. And that ensures um, how and where and why and so many things. Another another thing that I wanted to discuss is timeline jumping can be scary as well because you don't know where you're going to go or how you're going to go and how it's it, it, it is so energetic you know you have a lot of tv shows around it like the oa you've got you've got a lot of literal movies that show timeline jumping you know through a process and all that but in reality it happens all the time you know and this period especially august september october is the period where the veil is thin and a lot of changes takes place to every individual at this uh, very moment So, the golden question is, what is Twin Flames timeline jumping? And a big question would be, does my DM timeline jump with me as well? Well, both of you are timeline jumping together in a way. So hence, that's why you may feel like, hey, I'm in such a good vibration, but why am I jumping into a lower timeline, for example? Because ultimately, it's you in every timeline. So the state of your divine masculine affects your timeline jumping as well. So that's why it's very, very important to stay true to your vibration and also gain the support of the universe and your guides to ensure that you don't find yourself in a timeline that you do not want to be in. So, Twin Flames timeline jumping. Often when you are jumping into that reality where you guys are in perfect alignment, that's when union takes place and it eases, it, it just becomes easy. Everything in life becomes easy. So let's see it this way. A bad timeline, more dense. A good timeline, less dense, more light. So that's how you see it. So in a good timeline, in a higher timeline, what happens is that you feel much more at peace. You feel a lot of calm. You don't feel so much chaos you feel like opportunities come your way you don't have to chase anything communication with your dm life with your dm there's always a pathway but when you're in a not so good timeline everything is against you like every single thing unnecessary conflict with people around you um a great sense of hopelessness you just don't want to be in this reality you just but the thing is when you are fully aware that this is the reality you don't want to be in that's when you can bounce yourself back to either the timeline that you came from or to a higher timeline and that is quantum timeline jumping i have done this topic before i think last year or the year before and I'll say it again and again and again. It is. It has to do with your vibrations and frequencies. And if you are in a twin flame connection, you are affected by your divine counterparts' energies as well. So practice conscious awareness of your present so when you are more when you're living in the present 
you're more aware of the timeline you are in and the impact that you can cause. Hi, Diana. Diana says, yay, I made it. No doubt I'll get called away, but excited to listen to as much as I can while I'm at my all. That's wonderful. I'm so glad to see, you know, my usual crowd. And I'm so glad to do this live on a Saturday evening. So guys, show in, throw in more of your reactions so that, you know, more of y'all can join in <laughs> as well. So again, when and how do you get to a certain vibration? So it's all connected, right? Like how? Sometimes it's like, does my bad moods affect my vibrations or do my vibrations affect my moods? So which comes first? Naturally, we are going to go through a lot of feelings and emotions and circumstances and encounters and problems. So when you feel like you are dropping in energy, that is when you can try to bring yourself up a little by little. So awareness is key. So in other words, you don't want to slip away into a not so good timeline. <laughs> So the beauty is once you are fully aware and fully conscious of timeline jumping, then you are fully in control of your life and you can truly, truly become a master of your life because you can jump into any timeline that you desire and you are able to craft your life according to it. Essentially, you will also start to feel this intense vibrational shift that causes you to feel so much more in alignment uh, with your life in so many ways. So you're no longer trapped or caught in a certain notion of things where you are just struggling to survive, struggling to make sense of it all, struggling to uh, figure out or understand what is going on. Sometimes you just feel it when you're jumping to a higher timeline. But the physical symptoms of quantum travel is that you will feel jet like irregardless of the timeline you jump into. You're going to feel a lot of fatigue. If you feel fatigue and peace, it's a higher timeline. If you feel fatigue and fear, you know you have jumped into a not so good timeline. So either way, don't just because you've jumped to a, another new timeline doesn't mean, hey, you're going to be stuck there for Nope. You can always, always jump back to the timeline that you were originally residing or you can jump to a better timeline from where you are. Consciousness, awareness and frequencies. These are like your three main ingredients in timeline jumping. So how do you actually timeline jump? Like I said, awareness is key and bringing your vibration to that certain level and frequency is what's going to open up. So conscious timeline jumping will be through visualization. You know, you're visualizing a certain life, you're visualizing certain opportunities. And once you're constantly, you know, living it, you are inspiring that timeline shift. Number two, your breathing as well. Your breathing can inspire timeline jumping. So when you have a balance of both visualization and breathing and conscious, consciously aware of the destination that you're set to go, you are going to definitely go there. So often timeline jumping to not so... Uh, good timeline takes place when you have you're constantly you know having like negative thoughts or you're having all your fears coming to the surface that's where you are jumping uh, subconsciously into this timeline that you uh, do not quite want to be in 
and this can affect you in so many ways you know it can affect you um, it can affect your life it can affect you it can affect all sorts of things so guys if you have any questions you know throw them in and uh, if there's anything in particular you want me to channel about timeline jumping please this is your time as well and you know if there are no more questions i'm going to go into uh, channeling Okay, so in summary, I know a lot of y'all watch this live at your own time much later. So what I was going to say is I will definitely do, firstly, I'll definitely do another a part two of this at some point because there's so much that we can discuss about, so much uh, concepts and, and principles, uh, literally when it comes to like quantum timeline jumping and shifting. So generally, today is a very general, um, we are just generally talking about timeline shifting and jumping and, you know, I just provided like a few suggestions on how we can jump to a higher timeline. So it is within you and timeline jumping is an art that you can master, but most importantly, your breathing your energies, your frequencies, these are the key in anchoring in the timeline that you want to be in. And for Twin Flames, your divine counterparts' energies do affect you. So that causes you to experience um, shifts in your energy. So sometimes if you feel, hey, you know, you have not jumped into quite the timeline you're looking at, it could be affected by your divine counterpart. But having said that, as twin flames, we are always protected by the universe and God. So always trust that everything is connected, everything is related. Sometimes for mission reasons, you may jump into certain timelines. So that's a whole new topic that we can delve into. But if you are more aware of timeline jumping, the thing is when you jump into a new timeline, you will know that you have jumped into a new timeline. So you won't be so confused as to, hey, I don't remember it this way or I don't remember it that way. But, you know, eventually. So recently, there are a lot of shows about it as well. Um, there was a show called uh, Dark Matter. Again, it uh, explores these themes of quantum timeline jumping as well. But literally, you know. <laughs> so, guys, with that, I will call it a wrap on this topic. If you guys have uh, no more questions about this. But, of course, if you have more questions, please, please, please comment here or comment on my file. Um, then we can do an, another topic. Um, I mean, another life with regards to this. Yes, Lisa, per always like a perfect example of timeline jumping. You know, in fact, it's beautiful. You know, she jumps to a higher timeline each, uh, each time. And it's amazing how, you know. So if you were to look at the TV show, you could see that a particular traumatic event is when her life is split into like different timelines, like 
yes it is the greatest show ever <laughs> it's a great show yeah one of one of the greatest shows ever you know in terms of uh, this entire timeline jumping concept but what is so beautiful and interesting is that when you do it consciously with full awareness you are going to truly truly enjoy the magnificence of life in itself because it becomes a an innate superpower within you and as twin flames we already have it within us to like timeline jump to influence our timeline to attract the life that we want but in reality, when timeline jumping happens, it's very similar. All these timelines are very similar to the timeline that we are in, that we might not even recognize the timeline jump. That is the thing. It's not like, example, um, you know, in this lifetime, you're a teacher. And uh, when you timeline jump, you become a police officer. You know, you don't, you don't experience that kind of an extreme timeline jump often when um, firstly when you start to timeline jump it's going to be very similar to your present circumstances that you will rarely even recognize that you have timeline jumped you know it's just certain things very very subtle going to be very very subtle but the more you master the art of timeline jumping then you can jump into timelines that are completely unrecognizable as well but it's all in your hand and again the definition what is a better timeline what is a higher timeline it's all within you as well because it depends on what your soul wishes to experience So yes, so that's the reason why your vibration influences where you're going to be. Yes, Lisa, you've also said it beautifully. So literally, you know, you are like moving into another stream of energetic consciousness where you are where you are where you are unlocking another stream of potential. So that is what's essentially happening. So uh, when Lisa says uh, she thinks a dimension is not a place, more of like a vibration, yes, it's true. But the thing about timeline jumping is that you are actually moving into another place. So again, it's all in perception and in language and, and how we put together. So, example, you are suddenly anchoring in a lot of luck and abundance, you know. So then you are in that particular vibration and frequency. So quantum timeline jumping is very, very intricate and very, very beautiful. And it's very interesting because this has been mentioned in, in ancient texts. So there's like one particular story where... Uh, one divine character asks another divine character, which version of you, uh, which version of you are you, you know, like which timeline are you in, like which timeline am I in? So that that is the question because in every timeline, so these are like, so you've got infinite timelines as well. So often um, when when you are like timeline jumping, you are only jumping into timelines that are very, very similar to the timeline you are in. But once you master the art of timeline jumping, you can really, really, like I said, jump to a timeline that it's completely unrecognizable to your present timeline. So that, it, that requires a lot of skill and it, it is an art on its own. And eventually, it's like, it's like you're traveling with no luggage. <laughs> you're just going in because it's you, right? It's you who is living out all of this infinite potential. So when you timeline jump, you're merging with your other self in another timeline. A beautiful question, Lisa. Lisa's question is, do events in one timeline trigger or cause things to happen in a completely different timeline? 
yes it does <laughs> lisa said yes no packing except that's why you don't even remember if you have time like job because you're not even bringing in memories but deep down you know hey something is different from the life i've experienced so for some it can be a a completely new start to your life for some it could be Finally, you're living the life that you want to live. So it could be in complete alignment of your wishes and desires. For some, it could be a dreadful experience because you may have jumped into a worse timeline, you know, where you feel like everything is completely off. <laughs> so either way, when you are aware, you can always bring yourself back to the timeline that you wish to live. So if you consciously practice awakening awareness energies you're more aware of your energies you are able to control your vibrations better you will always always live in harmony with your desires sometimes it could be something in particular because for the soul there is no good or bad for the soul everything is just an experience so you got to like bear that in mind as well so uh, jumping backwards or jumping um, a not so good timeline for your soul may not be a bad experience it could just be part of the experience that your soul is experiencing because your soul is infinitely experiencing all of this anyway so it is a very complex topic but I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible so that we can apply it to the present and you could use this knowledge and wisdom to inspire your own quantum timeline jumping as well. So to wrap up today's topic, be aware of your present because that's going to help you. That's going to help you. That's going to inspire you on your next timeline jump. <laughs> Secondly, when you have global shifts and global events like, you know, portals opening up, then you could jump as a collective as well. So there's individual timeline jumping, there's collective timeline jumping as well. So be aware of that because that can impact where you're going to be. Lisa says, isn't that kind of cruel? Well, Lisa says that we may be suffering and from the soul level, none of it even matters. Well... It does matter from the soul level because it's an experience, but how we experience it and perceive it and how, you know, the soul, our soul perceives it can be just different because the soul comes up from a place of full awareness. So that's why when you are fully merged with your soul, in other words, you're awake, when you are fully um when you're fully awakened to who you are on a soul level, then the suffering lessens because you start to understand that it's all a cosmic play. But in order to come to that state, you need to align to that vibration where it all makes sense. So it's like an ultimate game of... of awareness <laughs> so yes now oh, lisa says good point thanks lisa so that's why it's it's a beautiful thing awareness is beautiful but when you're not aware to you're still living out an experience so essentially on a higher perspective, on a much more holistic perspective even, it goes down to 
everything that you are going through in life is an experience. It adds up to your experience as a soul, which influences your growth, you know, and evolution as a soul as well. With this, I hope you guys are inspired, you know, to give it a go with conscious timeline jumping, where you are consciously able to bring yourself and jump to another plane of consciousness, another timeline. You know, it could be something similar to the present. It could be something that's completely different. Either or, remember, you are still connected to all other timelines. Of course, you know, you want to ensure that you jump to the best timeline possible. And jumping to the best timeline possible takes a little skill and effort because it all depends on... See, even um, there's this show called Dark Matter, you know, that was released in Apple TV, which is based on a book as well. So when they actually timeline jumping... Initially, they are jumping into like the horrible timelines, you know, where there's catastrophes and all these natural disasters. And then after that, they figure out how to jump into the timeline that they want to jump into. It really depends on who you're traveling with. <laughs> so in a way, who you're traveling with and what your intentions are and where you want to be. So these, these elements need to be incorporated. If not, you are going to keep jumping into timelines that you feel like, hey, this is not where I want to be. It's like what you feel is what you manifest. So that is what affects quantum timeline jumping as well so for example you're like good vibrations good vibrations oh i might but deep down you've got a fear of uh, of a certain fear so the timeline that you jump into you're going to experience more of that so that's why doing a lot of soul work self work preparing yourself to be at a certain vibration is vital but of course ultimately your twin flames energies also affect your own timeline jumping because you guys are jump we, we are always jumping together so that is the beauty of it all you know that's what makes it unique to to an individual um, timeline jumping versus twin flames timeline jumping together Good evening, Jordan. <laughs> so one of the techniques that I can teach you guys is that, you know, take a deep breath. Firstly, take a piece of paper and write down how you feel. If you're feeling a lot of fear, if you're feeling a lot of anxiousness, if you're feeling a lot of confusion, you know, mm -mm, this is not the right time to jump consciously <laughs> slowly once you start feeling much more calmer and at peace and you feel like hey i've got this i'm fully in alignment then you can start to visualize the kind of life you want the kind of future you want the kind of harmonious relationship you want with your divine counterpart and then slowly once your vision matches with your thoughts and feelings and vibrations, then you can impact the timeline that you're jumping into. And that's the thing. You can lie to yourself, but your feelings and frequencies and vibrations, they never lie. They absolutely impact the destination that you're going to go to. Hi, Nicole. Good to see you. And Nicole says hi to everyone as well. So that's why it's so beautiful, you know, the entirety of, of learning, understanding uh, what this is all about. That's why, guys, I'll highly, highly, highly recommend the timeline shift reading. I can tell you exactly, you know, which timeline you are in, how many times you have timeline shifted and stuff like that. And also, 
this healing, the timeline, uh, quantum timeline forward jumping preparation activator for Twin Flames because this will really, really help you to go into your desi desired timeline because I can help you with, you know, bringing you up to that certain vibrations by clearing and, you know, helping you um, with the healing to, because it can really put you in that place to jump forward. So yes, I would highly, highly recommend both of these services if you guys are interested. <laughs> oh yes, Lisa. Nope, you cannot. And that's why preparation is so vital. You know, you can jump, absolutely, you know, like you can jump at any vibration at any moment, but where you're going to go depends on what you're feeling at present as well. That's why healings and activators do help because they can bring you to a place because it aids you with inner alignment. So that's what I do as a healer you know, and as a healing practitioner. That's what I help you with your vibrations, your alignments, you know, with your frequencies. So yes, so I highly, highly recommend that. And just see yourself like that. Sometimes, you know, you need to balance certain parts of yourself. Sometimes you may not be aware that you have this lingering hidden fear. So healing does help you to release that, to purge that out so that you are in a better position when you are timeline jumping. So practice makes it perfect as well. Practice also helps you to truly figure out where you want to be as well and what you want to do. So you're not only quantum um, timeline jumping just to be with your twin flame. Ultimately, you want to uh, have a livable life there as well, you know, probably career, life, you know, you want to you want to ensure that that the things that you like in this timeline follows you there as well so so it's 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 an intricate art but it is highly highly possible and you know um you you've got this that's all i can say so guys yes so if you guys need a little push and a little help with timeline jumping do get the Twin Flames Quantum Timeline Forward Jumping Preparation Activator. I have it on promo as well and I highly, highly recommend it. So with that, you know, do you guys have any questions about today's topic? No? Like I said, preparation is key. So you can try. So often you could do it before you fall asleep. Once you have like truly mastered the art, you can do it anytime you want. Um, secondly, the physical, physical, physical evidence that you have timeline jump would be you'll feel energetically, you'll feel tired, like jet lag. So that is a key indicator. Hey, you have successfully time timeline jump. So if you're feeling like tiredness for days and weeks, then you know, hey, you have actually timeline jump. And then there's two types. One is individually your timeline jump, but collectively you can timeline jump too. And of course, with all the activations and healings, it can inspire a positive timeline jump as well so they do highly help and my clients always tell me they do and the thing is it's not like how you see it in the movies literally you know you're going to bump into another version of yourself no it doesn't work like that that's why I feel like OA portrays it in a much more it's like you're just merging with yourself because it's yourself you know so it's you in all these um, dimensions anyway. So even if you quantum timeline jump, you're just merging with yourself, you know, or awakening that part of yourself. See it that way. You know, it's not different. Oh, Karen, you're the best. Karen says, highly recommend Vaishnavi's healings. Thank you, Karen. 
So guys, please throw in the questions now. I know this is such a broad topic and there is a lot that you guys probably want to share and discuss and, you know, it's... Just see it this way. We live, a, we live a life where we have infinite possibilities. We have infinite opportunities to truly, truly evolve and grow and experience. And to the soul, it ultimately comes down to experience, what you're experiencing. But what you want to experience from where you are, if you want to have much more control of it, it depends on how awakened you are you are see ultimately if you can constantly live in a state of awe and wonderment you are experiencing a higher vibration as well because you truly truly you know enjoying the way life is but because we are bogged on by so many responsibilities and things that that's constantly popping through in our life, we are not able to live our full potential and lives. And then when you're on a twin flame journey, it's just, it becomes a million times more challenging because on top of your present challenges, you have to deal with this entire journey as well. And sometimes it's not as, no, um, how do I put it? It's not as a smooth sailing as it is. Like I said, there is collective timeline jumping, there's individual timeline jumping, there's mission related timeline jumping. So many things are at play when, when we are twin flames. So all these do um, matter as well. So that's the reason why your vibrations, your frequency are very, very crucial to you know where you are and what you're experiencing and more than that awareness is key the more aware you are the more aware to all that you're experiencing and feeling you will notice you're able to have much more power and control always remember the power is within you never give your power away remember god is with you always and the universe is always guiding you sometimes you know you might not hear the universe but when you put in more consciousness when you put in um, more awareness you will start to influence the reality that you wish to be part of and that maps out this beautiful experience that you're going to have on this earth with your divine counterpart. The good news is we are living in a period where twin flame unions are at the highest. So many of you all are experiencing huge shifts, major upgrades. A lot is happening to us on a cellular level, energetic level, multidimensional level. But good things are meant to come out of this lifetime because we are experiencing a lot of things. We are actually in the golden era of, of you know, for a lot of us, we are experiencing a lot of changes and this is an optimal period to to truly truly experience um, beautiful everybody in the world we are also helping um, so many like galactically we are anchoring in bringing in new changes you know because we are not only twin flames we're star seeds we are light workers you know we are truly truly at a point where the transformation the work everything